Right, okay, we are live. Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for joining us. And as always with these live streams, let me know if you can hear us and you can see us okay. Nick and Gemma have joined me again. Hello. Game three in the Stefan Fell City collection. Yeah. New York City. This is the uh, updated version of Rialto. Uh, and we're going to be doing a tutorial and playthrough. So, yeah, thank you very much for joining us. Um, just making sure. Is it all working? Yeah. I, hopefully you can see me and you can hear me. Um, we've sort of played before. You two have both read the rule book and we just had a run through a couple of rounds. Yeah. So we're going to be teaching you the game as we go along rather than all of the rules up front. But one thing I haven't yet done is we haven't finished setting up the board because I wanted to show you uh, how you set the board up. Now, I'll give you a quick overview first. We have six different districts on the board. And we are basically fighting for control of these. It's an area control game where we're going to be building skyscrapers in the district. This is the deluxe version, by the way, or deluxe components anyway. Um, so at the end of the game, each of these six districts is going to score. And the player with the most skyscrapers in the district is going to score the value of the district, which will change as the, as the game goes on. Uh, and then second place, the player with the second most skyscrapers will get half of that rounded up, then the third player, half of that rounded up, etc, etc, etc. So basically, we're going to be building skyscrapers into these different districts in order to score points at the end of the game. Now, the game comes with these scoring tiles, and what we do, if you want to give them a shuffle and put one in each district at the start of the game. So the base value of each district is fixed based on these scoring tiles. So Jersey City is worth seven. Manhattan is worth 6, Bronx is worth 10, Queens is worth 8, Brooklyn is worth 9, and Staten Island is also worth 8. Okay, now, there are 5 rounds in this game, and in each round, the Mayor is going to visit one of the districts, and that is the district which we can build in for that round. But, I hear you ask, there's 6 districts and there's only 5 rounds in the game. Well, Gemma, if you want to give them a shuffle and place them one of the districts will not be visited by the mayor um, and the other five will in the order of the letters so we have c brooklyn queens is eight so the mayor is going to go to queens first you know no it's fine whichever as long as you're not looking at them before putting them down um so yes yeah, so the mayor's going to start in queens then he's going to go to the bronx mm -hmm. then brooklyn then staten island then manhattan Jersey City, the mayor will not visit Jersey City. So at the start of the game, all players place one of their skyscrapers in the district with the X. Um, but as I say, the mayor will not visit here. That doesn't mean we can't build in here. There are options where we can build in here, but we'll, we'll come to that later on. Uh, we also need to decide turn order at random. So these are the turn order pieces. Mm -hmm. If you want to give them a shuffle... And we, we place them on the starting order of the press track. So this is the press track. Uh, this determines, not really turn order, but it, it breaks all ties. So I am at the top of this track. So whenever there's a tie in the game, I am going to win that tie. But we're going to be moving up the press track as the game goes on. And the player who is the farthest ahead on the press track, basically, yeah, win, wins ties. Um, right, what else do we need to do to set up? There is something that we've done and I decided not to do this on camera, is we have all of the characters. The characters are divided into five tiers, uh, as you can see by the number on the backs of the tiles. So we've shuffled all of the ones and put them there, shuffled all of the twos and put them there, etc, etc. And then we've laid out the first four from each stack. So these, these were randomly done uh, before we started. Also, you will notice on the board that we have these transportation vehicles. So these there's ten of them in the game. Ten of them in the game? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, ten of them in the game. They go on the appropriate colours. So the, the, the big ships go here, the New York cabs go up there, etc, etc. The last thing to do in setup is... One money each. One money each. We all or Everybody starts with one money each. And reserve cards. Yeah. We didn't do this in the practice game, did we? But we all get two reserve cards mm -hmm. at the start of the game. And these go below our player board. So one for you, two, you, one for me, another one for you, another one for you, you, another one for me. We'll come on to the reserve later on as to what that does. The final part of setup is top of the board here. So what we've got is we have four pairs of characters. 
There's a level one character and a level five character in each pair. Could you just flip over one of the pairs for me? You'll notice that the back of these tiles has the kind of open elevator doors. That means these are starting ones, okay. which identifies them different from the other ones. There are seven level one starting characters and there are five level fives. We take four of the level ones at random, four of the level fives at random, because we're a three player game. It's basically you're making pairs with a one and a five, one more than the number of players. So because we're three players, we've got four pairs. And yeah, if you want to flip them back in reverse player order, we get to take one of those pairs. Now, you'll notice by looking at them, there are icons on them. Uh, we'll explain them as we go. We're not going to explain all of the icons in the game. The game does come uh, with an addendum, with a description of all of the characters and what they all do. But if you two have any questions yeah. of what they do, feel free to ask. Thank you. But basically, the level one character has an ability on it, which we can use during the game. The level five character is an end of game scoring character. So whichever one you choose, is going to set one of your end of game scoring goals. Okay. Uh, and this order is chosen in reverse player order. So Nick's going to choose first, then Gemma, then me. Mm -hmm. And then we start the game. Um, you should remind me what this one does again. Yeah, so that one is oh, an ability yeah. that's used in phase one, mm -hmm. and it allows you to discard any number of cards from your hand mm -hmm. and draw replacements. Which one is the one with the reserve? Is that the reserve? That one. So that, that is one. used in phase two. Yeah. When you use it, you get a point, as you can see there. Mm -hmm. Um, but it allows you to discard any number of cards from your reserve mm -hmm. and then replace the cards in your reserve. Okay. And then this one here is which section it is this one here? That's is Brooklyn. Which yeah. Worth nine? I'm, I'm going to take these two. Let me just check that character. What character number is it? Uh, it was 12. No. Yeah, 12. Gain one point, discard any number of cards from your reserve, then refill your reserve. Yeah. Okay. I've got a plan. He has a plan. A plan. Right. And remind okay. me again, what does this mean? Yeah, so that... Um, is that in phase two, when we're playing cards, you can move your token on the press track backwards up to two spaces. Sorry for the noise in the background. Uh, we've got the window open because it's a bit warm, but somebody seems to be <laughs> emptying their garage. Um, so yeah, you move your marker up to two spaces backwards on the press track and treat that as if you'd played that number of cards of the current bidding round. So you could essentially get two bonus cards. It's essentially two bonus cards in hand if you move two spaces back on the press track. Okay. So I think I'm going to take that one. You are going to take I that am one. going to take that one. Do you know what? I was looking at that and I was thinking, I don't know why you would take that one, but you have, so yeah, I have. we'll see how it plays. Now, all of the characters that you take go above your player board, except for the end game characters. So the end of game scoring characters are supposed to go to the right of your board. We're just going to put them above their board, above our boards, just because that's, that's the layout that we've got. Right, that is the setup done. And as I say, I wanted to show you that uh, before we started, just to give you an idea of the variability in the game. Right, let's jump into the game. So five rounds. Each round consists of four phases. This is all summarised on the player board. So we have phase zero, which is basically setting up for the round. Then we have phase one, where we're going to draft cards. We have phase two, which comprises of six bidding rounds, mm -hmm. where you will play cards from your hand and do various things. And then phase three is you use any of your characters that have the sunset background. And that's it. That, and then we do that five times, and then we've got end of game scoring. Now, we'll explain each of these in a bit more detail later on, but we're going to start with round one, phase zero. Yeah. We remove all money from characters. Now, in round one, there isn't, there isn't any money on characters. But basically, every character that you have in the game, uh, apart from the end of game scoring characters, so this one, for example, Every, every time you use it, and you can only use it once per round, you have to spend the money, you have to give him some money, and then you get the ability of the card. Mm -hmm. That money stays on there to represent the fact that you've used that character, and at the start of the next round, that money will be removed. Yeah. You don't get it back, you, lo you lose the money. So yeah, money is basically for using the characters. Then what we do is the next step is we move the mayor. So in round one of the game, we bring the mayor, who happens to be Stefan Feld, and we bring him to the A area, which is Queen's. Okay, so the mayor is now in Queens. The next step is we reveal two prestige tiles for this round. So there's five rounds in the game, and we actually have 10 prestige tiles. So there's 10 prestige tiles here, which have been shuffled. Yeah. And we're going to lay out the top two. Now, these were shuffled from our earlier no, game. They were, they really? And the top two, they, those two have come out again. I was looking, I think you haven't shuffled those. We shuffled them. <laughs> we definitely shuffled them. 
Um, so these are the two prestige tiles that are available for this round. Any of these that are not taken will be discarded. Yeah. So there's 10 tiles in here. We will go, we will go through all 10 tiles uh, in the game. And the final step of phase zero is all players will get three cards mm -hmm. from the deck. So let's get the cards. We're going to deal three cards to each of us. Yeah. And then what we do is we're going to make pairs of cards above the player board. The number of pairs of cards you make is equal to... Uh, it's based on the number of players. Uh, so it's the number of players doubled and add one. So because we are a three-player game, we are now going to create seven pairs of cards at the top of the player board. While Nick's doing that, just a couple of things before we start. Uh, well, we've already started, but a couple of things. First of all, big thank you to Queen Games for sponsoring this video. Uh, they asked me to cover all of the games in the Steffenfeld City Collection, and since I'm a huge Steffenfeld fan, that's good news for me. Uh, but also, I do rely on the support of the Patreon campaign in order to keep the channel going. So if you like the content that I create, obviously give the video a thumbs up. Even if you're watching live, you can give the video a thumbs up. Uh, leave me a comment if you've enjoyed it and found it useful. But if you are in a position to be able to support me on Patreon, it is patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. And one other thing, we're going to try and play correctly today, but in the heat of the moment, we might miss something. So if we make any mistakes in the video that aren't picked up while we're playing live, I will add Klingon subtitles into the video later on. So if you're not watching this back live, then turn on your subtitles, go to the Klingon channel, and if we find any mistakes, I will, I will add them in there. One other final thing before we start, there were a few rules queries that I had with the game after reading through the rulebook. I have had those rules clarified by Queen Games. So what you're seeing today here is the actual rules of the game. Uh, if you've got the game and you've read through the rulebook and something that I do here doesn't quite match the rulebook, trust me, what we're playing here is correct. And if it's not, I'll put some Klingon subtitles on screen. But the, as I say, I've, I've checked with Queen Games and Ulrich is in, in the chat. Uh, so if we do anything wrong, he will <laughs> definitely, definitely point it out. Like, for example, if... I have an end of game scoring card and I use it every single round. So, <laughs> just for example, I mean, not, yeah. not that not that anybody would do that. That never happens. Right. Okay. So we're now into phase one. Okay. So phase one of the game is this. And what's going to happen is we're each going to take two pairs of cards. Now, this is done in reverse player order. So yellow is going to choose a pair of cards first, then red, then blue, mm -hmm. then yellow, then red, then blue. So what's going to happen is Nick is going to choose one of those pairs of cards, add it to his hand. Then Gemma's going to take one. Then I'm going to take one. Then Nick, then Gemma, then me. We will all then have seven cards in hand. And they are the cards which we will use this turn. But if anybody has any phase one characters, Gemma has a phase one character. So you can use that at any point in phase one if you give her a dollar. And it allows you to discard any number of cards from your hand and draw replacements. So... Nick, which of those pair of cards do you want? Well, I saw them come out and I thought I knew exactly which ones I want. But <laughs> the more I think about it, I'm going to go for these two. From my experience with playing this game, it's very much a... You can have a plan, mm. but you have to change... You have to react. Yeah. Based on all of the... You're, you're having to make little decisions each mm. time. Yeah. Um, and, of course, the scoring tiles, that makes a big difference as well. Mm. So we know that Bronx is worth 10 points... And the mayor is going to go there at some point. Yeah. And in fact, the mayor's going to go there next round, isn't he? So, yeah. I'm going to take. Oh, that's what I was going to take. Where's the mayor now? The mayor's in Queens. He's worth eight. Can I have the. I'll have this one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's me again. Cards in hand are secret, but the number of cards in hand is not secret. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to take this one. Here. Yep. Gemma? Well then, you've left me with very little choice. I'll take that one. Right, so the pair, the pair that doesn't get chosen is discarded. And now we're going to go into phase two. So phase two comprises of six bidding rounds. Each bidding round is resolved in a similar way. We're basically, we're each going to bid for this by playing cards with that icon or wild cards. The player who starts the bidding for this bidding round is whoever is furthest ahead on the press track. 
So if we have a quick look at the press track, blue player is on top, so the blue player is ahead. So blue is going to start start the bidding for bidding round one. Whoever wins bidding round one will start the bidding for bidding round two, and then whoever wins this bidding round will start this one, etc., etc. Now in each bidding round, we go once round the table, um, and we basically play cards from our hand to make a bid. But it's the player who wins the bid gets the bonus, but everybody gets to do the thing. So for example, bidding round one is all about moving on the press strike. If I play two of these cards, I will move my token two spaces up on the press strike, whether I win the bid or not. If I win the bid, I will move an extra space on the press track. Now, the press track is also the tiebreaker. Mm -hmm. So for example, if I was to play two of these cards and Gemma was to play two of these cards, then I actually win the bid. So the press track is, is all, it resolves all ties in the game. So if we both bid the same, I actually win the bid because I'm highest on the press track. Okay. Um, so yeah, the first one is all about bidding for the press track. We'll explain these as we go to them, but I just want to tell you now about, about cards. So I mentioned that in this bidding round, we're going to be playing cards with that icon on, which is this. You all saw me pick this card up. So yeah. it's no secret that I've got it. Um, so we're playing cards with this icon and you can play as many of them as you want and that is your bid however there are in the game wild cards did somebody pick up a wild card somebody did I pick did. up a wild card nick picked up a wild this is a wild card you can play a wild card with another card and it copies that card but you cannot play a wild card on its own think of a wild card like a chameleon it will change its color to match its surroundings if it doesn't have any surroundings it gets confused so you can't play the, these wild cards on their own. You can only play them with another card and then it copies the other card. So that would, that would count as a bit of two. There is something else that you can do as well is you can play any two identical cards together as if they were one other card. Mm. Okay, so they are the rules on bidding. Now, you'll notice we each have a reserve be be below our player board. We've each got two cards below our player board which are face up. That is your reserve, and you can swap cards from your hand with your reserve at any time, but only in phase two. Yeah. So you can't do it at any time in the game, but any time in phase two, you can swap cards from your hand with ones from your reserve. Now, what that effectively does is it gives you more flexibility. You can never play cards from your reserve. You can only ever play them from your hand, but effectively, I've got these two, and you can all see that I've got these two, so at any point in phase two, I could say, oh, I don't want these two cards. I'll swap them out, mm -hmm. and then I've got these in hand. Yeah. So it gives you quite a bit of extra flexibility. Right. So we're going to do bidding round one. This is for moving up the press track. Uh, and bidding for this round, all we start with the player who is ahead in turn order. Uh, so ahead on the press track, which is me. Uh, and I did mention, but I'll just clarify again. At the end of the round, any cards in hand are discarded. So you want to use all of the cards in your hand. You cannot keep any cards in hand from one round to the next. I'm going to bid one. Yep. Bidding always goes clockwise. So it's Gemma next. I'm going to bid two. So Gemma bids two. Um, I'm going to be the first person to do th two things. So I'm going to swap some cards Ooh. in and out of my hand. So yeah. I'm going to take this card out of my hand. Swap it for that one. Swap that one. And then I'm going to pay a dollar to use this character here which lets me basically flush well you get a point i get a so point. nick's winning excellent thanks for watching nick's won <laughs> and now you can remove any number of cards from your reserve yeah discard them i'm going to gamble it so i flush both of those yeah and, discard. and draw two exactly the same two. cards no they're not secret because they have to go face up they go face up into your reserve oh, oh, oh look at that what a day. goodness gracious and now okay. you can carry on swapping cards with your reserve yeah and come back in five minutes when Nick's finished taking his turn. <laughs> so I'm just going to have a look at this. So, so you've got one, you've got two. I'm bottom, so if I put two down, I will Gemma lose. will win. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What I will do then uh, is I will put back... I do. What would Stefan Feld do? That's what you got to ask yourself. Hang on, so if I put down one... If like you that. put down one, my one beats your one, but it doesn't matter. Gem Gemma's won the bid, so Gemma will end up moving three it's spaces. It's order, so I will be before you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't explained that yet, but no. we'll, we'll explain it now. I'll right. Bidding round one is resolved in a unique order. All of the other bidding rounds are resolved in the order of the bids. 
with the highest, highest bid resolving their actions first. But bidding round one is resolved in the order of the markers on the press drive. So even though I didn't win the bid, I move my marker first and I move one space because I played one card. So I move one space. Gemma is next. Mm -hmm. Gemma played two cards, but because Gemma's bid was the highest, you get plus one, you move three spaces. Yeah. And then Nick moves one and Nick moves on top of me. So let's just have a look at the press track now. So current current order is Gemma, then Nick, then me. Mm -hmm. So I've I've gone from first first Hot to dog. last. Yep. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> other things while we're while we're talking about the press track is three points at the end of the game if your marker goes past this space. And also, let's talk about the black marker. The black marker is the neutral player, and you'll notice that there are two uh, black skyscrapers in each of the districts. The black marker here starts on either space six if it's a four-player game, seven if it's a three-player game, and eight if it's a two-player game. We are competing with the neutral player for control of the districts at the end of the game. So if we if we are below this marker at the end of the game, then the black player is going to beat us um, in case of a tie. So if yeah. we've got two skyscrapers in a district uh, which is tied with the neutral player, then they will be ahead of us unless our marker is ahead of them. Mm -hmm. One final thing about the pest track before I forget to mention it. Every time you move onto a space, you move on top of the marker that's already there, except for the last space. The last space is special. Whoever gets to the last space first will always be on top, and anybody else will go underneath them. Right, that's it about the press track. So, are we in bidding round two? Yep. We are. Right, bidding round two is all about money. Who won the bid for bidding round one? Gemma did. So, Gemma, you go first for bidding round two. I did one. Bidding always goes clockwise, so it's Nick next. Uh, I don't think I'm going to bid anything. No bid. So I'm going to bid two. Okay, now the order in which bidding round two is resolved is irrelevant, because simply we all take money. So we get one money for each point of our bid. So Gemma gets one, and I get three. Two because I bid two, but plus one because I got the bonus. So I get three dollars. Nice. Right, okay. Bidding round three is about characters. So in this bidding round, your bid uh, is the highest level character that you can take. So if you bid three, you can take a character of up to level three. Now the characters, as well as them all having lots of special abilities, they are worth the points printed on them at the end of the game. So every level one character you take is worth one point at the end of the game. Every level five character is worth five points at the end of the game. Every character except the end of game scoring ones costs one dollar to activate. The end of game scoring ones do not cost any money to activate. Um, and can actually be used multiple times, but these can only be used once per round. So, the winner of that bid was me, mm -hmm. so I start the bidding for this one. Now, I have these two cards in my reserve. Since I've just gained loads of money, I am very tempted to... Where are we currently bidding for? We're currently bidding for Queens. I'm going to swap these two cards in my reserve... For these two. You can just swap one card if you want to, but I'm swapping those two. And then I'm going to bid three, leaving me with one card in hand. I'm not going to bid this. You're not bidding? Nick? Ooh. I'm not going to. Okay. So because I've won the bid, I can take any character of up to level four. Now, generally speaking, the higher the level the character, the better it is. Um, which one do I want to take? That one's nice and easy. That yeah, one is just pay, 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 pay her a dollar, draw two cards. So there's that one. Uh, this one is in phase two. Play... Oh, let's just look up that one. Character number 22. Character number 22 says... Return up to two of your cards to your hand after... Oh, yeah. So you play your cards, mm. you evaluate your cards, you give her a dollar, take two of them back into your hand. All oh, right. Which okay. is pretty awesome if you're playing wild cards. Yeah. Okay. Um, and this one, you move ahead on the press track, depending on where you are. So in a three-player game, mm. uh, if, you're, if you're third... Well, if you're third, you move three spaces ahead. Mm -hmm. If you're second... You move... Let me just check what that is. What number is that? 27. Uh, it should be two spaces and then three in a two-player game. Yeah, and you get... Oh, that's in a game with two players. Yeah, so it's... 
yeah, it's two spaces ahead. So right now, if I had that character and I used it, I'd move three spaces ahead on the press strike. Yeah. But then I'd be in the lead, and it might not... Okay, I'm, I'm going to take this one. I'm going to take that one. So the character goes above my player board, and after everybody's taken a character, you replenish the display. Right. That was bidding round three. Cards get discarded. Bidding round four is for taking skyscrapers from the supply. You can't see it, but off camera, there is a big pile of skyscrapers. <laughs> uh, and it's for taking them from the supply and putting them onto your player board. They have to be on your player board before you can then build them here. Um, and I am not bidding. So, Gemma. I bid one. Gemma bids one. What's the bonus? You get an extra one. You get an extra one. Gemma's winning that tiebreak, so I'm going to go one, two. One and a wild card is two. So right. I will, so Gemma again, will take one. The order sorry. that this is resolved is irrelevant because you're just taking skyscrapers. So you take one, Nick, you take three. Three lovely skyscrapers. Right, that's bidding round four done. Bidding round five is a little bit special. So in bidding round five, we are bidding with cards that look like this and every one we play gets us one point. But the player who won the bid, the player who bid the most of these cards, will get to do something special. And also the second player, the player with the second highest bid, will also get to do something special. Now, when I say something special, what I mean is choose one of these prestige tiles and place them on one of the routes on the board. So remember these nice little vehicles that we placed at the start of the game? Uh, basically, what you do is you remove one of them matching colour, and these two are both yellow, so it has one of them is going to replace this cab, and one of them is going to replace that cab. And what you do is you choose which end of the bridge you want to place the marker, and that will increase the value of that particular district. You also get to build a skyscraper in that district. Okay, so you'll see it happening. The winner of the previous bid was Nick, so you go first on bidding for bidding round five. And we can ask how many cards everyone's got. I have one card. Don't how many cards have got. Three cards. Got three cards in your hand. And you know that I could, I could play one if I wanted to, because I could swap this card in hand with that one. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. In case it matters. Um, I will play two. I'm not going to play. Um, I'll play one. Okay, so this bidding round is resolved in the order of the bids. Mm -hmm. Nick, you bid two, which means you get two points. He's running away with it. Look yeah. at this, he's got three points. Yeah, I and you get to choose one of these tokens, okay. whichever one you want. Uh, the four, please. Now, you don't have to. You could forego this. This okay. is optional. But you're mm -hmm. going to take the four, yeah. and where are you going to put it? Uh, I will put it... Um, it's one, one of these ones. It's got to it? be on one of the four yellow spaces, yeah. I'm going to go here. Okay, so that increases the value of Manhattan. Actually, no. If that's the case, then sorry. Nope. No, I was going to say that that one shouldn't run away, but I forgot. I get to take that one. You get to take that. Get to yeah, so the value of the Bronx is now 14. Yeah. It was 10. It's now 14. Mm -hmm. And Nick has built a skyscraper in there. Now, the cab that he's taken from here, that's gone on his player board. That cab isn't worth any points on its own, no. but it might be required by some of these end game scoring characters. You're done. Gemma, you get one point because you played one card. And you may, if you want to, yes, place this token. So that, that has to go on either there or there. So that's going in the Bronx as well. So the Bronx is now worth 16. And this is what I was saying about the value of the districts changes as the, ga as the game goes on. Right, that's bidding round five done. Bidding round six, the final one, starts with the player who bid the most. Uh, I'm going to swap that wild card out. Yep. And I'm going to play two. Two. I'm going to play one. I'm going to swap that card out. And I'm also going to... You're going to play two. But your two beats Nick's two because you're ahead on the press track. Mm -hmm. So you go first and you must place, place three skyscrapers three. into the district where the mayor is. Nick, you place two. And I place one. Now, the reason why the order is important there is you might think, well, why is the order important? Because we're all just putting skyscrapers on. Is... If you ever get the opportunity to place a skyscraper in a district and you don't have any on your player board, you may move one, i.e. knock it down and rebuild it from another district. And that's why that needs to be done in the order of the bids. Okay, so Queen's is all very busy. 
that is the end of phase two. So now we do phase three. Mm -hmm. Nobody got. I forgot three. I had my character. Completely forgot to use no. it. <laughs> Bad Paul. Unlucky. Bad Paul. Yeah. Anyway, too busy teaching. <clears throat> Not playing. Um, so if anybody has any phase three characters, which they don't, but if we did, we'd now use them. And that's it. We now go on to round two. Mm -hmm. Again, there's only five rounds in the game. So first thing we do in round two is we remove all money from characters, unless you forgot to use them, and then you don't need to remove them because <laughs> you didn't use them. Uh, we move them there. So we flip this token over. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to flip the X over just to remind us we never do that. Yeah. And the mayor is off to the Bronx. To the Bronx. Uh, we flip over the next two prestige tiles. So we've got green two. They are the same two that came oh, out last time. I definitely shuffled them. I absolutely I shuffled them. I don't believe them. you. <laughs> so, yeah, it's not always two that, of the same colour that come out every time. Um, so that's that. And then we get three cards each. Oh, you got the deck of cards. Mm -hmm. One more. Each. One more. Three each. Okay. So they're yours, these ones are mine. Yeah. What are those? Right, now, before... Oh, and then we deal seven pairs. Yeah. Neatly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's what the board's looking like at the moment. Let's have a look at these cards. Right, so we move into phase one. But at the start of phase one, before we take cards, I'm going to pay... This lady, a dollar, mm -hmm. to draw two cards. Can I have two cards, please? Thank you. Anybody else using any phase one abilities? Um, mm -hmm. Discard any number of cards from your hand and draw replacements. You probably want to do that at the end of phase one, once you've, okay. once you've got your hand of cards. Okay, right. Yeah, drawing two extra cards is <laughs> it's nice. We like that. Uh, who's going first? Me. I'm at the bottom of the um, press track. So where are we? The mayor's in the Bronx. Mm -hmm. You two have already built a skyscraper in the Bronx, mm -hmm. but the Bronx is already worth 16. Yeah. And could potentially be worth more later on. And what have we got tiles-wise this turn? We've got the green ones. Um, okay, I'm going to take... I'm going to take this one. I was going to take that one. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, Yellow next. That one. Okay, and then Gemma. Um, I'll take that one. This one. Okay, and the last one gets discarded. Right, Gemma, do you want to use your character? Mm -hmm. Are you happy with your cards? I'm going to. Can I pay the money to get a point but not. You can. Cards? Whether a money is worth a point, I'm not sure. Do you not think? I don't think so. I know money is really valuable. Silly statement to make, but um, if you're going to get some characters, mm. getting spending $1 for a point. In my opinion, isn't worth it just because that dollar could be could, could be really useful for another guy. But if you're going to get loads of money, mm. it's up to you. No. Okay, right. So phase one is over. We're going to phase two. Gemma, you're ahead on the press track, so you start the bidding for bidding round one. Off we go. Don't forget, you can swap with your reserve at any time in phase two. I'm not going to bid this. No bid. Okay. It opens it up a bit. It's a replay little, game, doesn't it? It does a little bit. Um, I'm going to bid two. Okay, so because your two would beat my two, I'm going to bid three. Okay. 
Okay, so remember, bidding round one is resolved in the order of the markers on the press track. It's the only bidding round that is resolved that way. So Gemma's is resolved first, you didn't bid. Mm -hmm. Nick, yours is resolved next, you move two. Then I move three plus one. So I move four. Okay, right. Bidding round two is for Mahoney's. Me first, mm -hmm. I pass. No bid. I pass as well. Oh! Goodness gracious. <laughs> Like one card and get two dollars if you want. Hello. Yes, please. One card, two dollars. Don't mind if I do. Done. <laughs> what do I want to save their cards for? It's me now. Isn't Bidding it? round three is for potentially taking a character. And if you want to know what any of these characters do, feel free to ask and we can look it up in the book. There's a couple of them that I'm not sure about. I might look him up while I'm thinking. Oh, okay. Yeah, once you understand the iconography, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, well, that looks like draw three cards and then discard two cards from hand, and that's exactly what it is. This one here looks like you gain you one, one point, point and get a skyscraper. And you place a skyscraper. Does that not gain a skyscraper? Or is that place? Uh, it's take a skyscraper from. Yeah, it's take a skyscraper. And, and put it on your player board. Mm. I can't decide. Although I've got this character here that I could use if I don't like some of my cards, don't I? Yeah, that's discard any number of cards from your reserve and replace them with different ones. I think what I'm going to do then. I'm going to take this one into my hand. Yeah, so I'm going to do one. that. And I'm going to spend. A dollar. So oh, discard those two. Get rid of these two. And get replacements. Let's see what we get, Jenna. How lucky are we feeling? Is it going to be two wild cards again? Let's have a look. Ready? Ooh. Nope. Pretty good, though. Hello. Is that what you want? <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> um, I'll go zero, then. I don't think I will. So, you're bidding zero. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to bid one. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Do I pay Columbo? <laughs> oh, question, question, question. No, I'm just going to play one. I'm going to do... Swap that with that one. Play you play two. Right, so you go first, and you can take any character of up to level three. Any of the ones you want to know what they do. Um, I'm going to take this one that... Okay, see. yeah, so you, you give him a dollar, you gain a dollar, and you get to draw a card. That's a great title. It is, it is a good title. I've got a bit of one, so I get to take a level one character. It doesn't get replaced instantly. No, only, only after all players have taken them. Okay. So this is a really interesting one. This, every time you use it, you get a point, and you add one card to your reserve. So your uh, reserve okay. is permanently one bigger right. for the rest of the game. Um, the thing is, we're already in round two, and we've already passed phase one, yeah. so that can only be used a maximum of three times. It's still pretty good. Um, I think I'm going to take this one, because I like what you're doing with it. Okay, it's yeah. the same one as you've got, yeah. Right, that was bidding round three. Bidding round four, Gemma to go first. And yeah, the colour of the background on the character tells you which phase they're in. There is a number in the, bottom, in the top left, but it's the background colour that matters. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> I'm going to play... You're running out, aren't you? Mm. <laughs> Four. 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 Wow. Gracious, Strong bid. This round here. Which round are we on? That Gaining one. them. Bidding round four. Crikey. I don't think I'm going to bid any. Uh, no bid for me. No. 
So, Jeremy, you get five new skyscrapers. Goodness. One, two, three. Have you even got any four, cards five. left? Have you got uh, one? There is a limited supply, so each player gets 20 skyscrapers okay. a maximum. I'll tell you the reason why I did that. Because I unfortunately don't have any of these cards. Right. Yeah. Which is a shame because my end of scoring is on the It is one. for there. So. Yeah. But remember, you could play two cards together as if they were one card of something else. It's not the multicolored ones, is that right? Yes, you can. Oh, you, you can. can play two wild cards together. Oh, yeah, I didn't realize that. As if they were one card, because mm. they okay. they are identical. So. Oh, okay. Would that have changed what you did? It would have, but. Well, do you want to? Do you want to change no, it back? No, 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 you only had fine. one skyscraper anyway, though. Yeah. No, it's fine. You sure. Yeah. Okay. Right. So bidding round five. You want me to go first? Uh, one. Can I shuffle my one? Okay. <laughs> um, that's that's interesting. I'll go three. Okay. So, uh, me first. Yeah. I get three points. One, two, three. I'm yeah. going to take this. Now then. So the only way to build in Jersey City is by these tokens. Mm -hmm. And two of them have already gone and are there. Yeah. Which means that one can never have a token on it. So I'm... I'm oh. Where am I trying? I'm trying to get it to there. So I'm going to put it here. I'm going to take that off. And I get to put a skyscraper. It's totally what we're doing. Okay. Uh, right, now who's second? It would be me. Second is yellow you. because you're tied, so you get one, one point, point and you get to assign that. So that has to go either there or there. Yeah, I'm just thinking ahead. So who? So you've got one card left in your hand and Gemma's got... Oh, no, I have two. You've got two. And Sorry, Gemma, you've I got how Two many? cards left yeah. in hand. I've got three left, haven't I? But if I build... Oh, if you've got two in your hand, though, I will get the extra. Mm -hmm. But I haven't got the extra skyscraper to put down. So I'll have more... I will be able to put down more than I actually... Which means you can move them from somewhere else if you wanted to. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, okay, I will put this one... I quite like your thinking. I'll do that. I'll take this one here. Okay. And then I will put one so in there. But then so, we both need to be above this. Yeah, so I, I think that's yeah. it. I think I think Jersey City is now locked. I don't think mm -hmm. any other skyscrapers can be placed in here because these tokens have all now gone on and it's worth 13 points. Yeah. And yeah, at the moment, if the game was to end now, Black would win this area because Black has got the same number of skyscrapers as us and is ahead of us on the track. Right, and then, Jemmy, you get one point mm -hmm. for your one card. Yeah. Okay, right. Final bidding round. Nick, you bid the most. No, I bid the, most. bid the most. I bid the most. So I start now. I bid two. We're not going to use Columbo again. <laughs> I wanted to, mm. but actually, I've only got two. Yeah. And I don't want to knock one down, so I only need two. Yeah. So I bid two. Gemma? Um, I have no cards. cards. So Nick, you might as well play all your cards. Well, actually, you've got. Swapsies, yeah. If you wanted to, I'm gonna. I will swap these out, mm -hmm. and I will put one more down. Sure. I think. So you bid three. I've not played that round very well. So you can place really. four. You 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 place four skies. Now you must place those three. Yeah. But the fourth one is optional if you wanted to knock something down yeah. from somewhere else. Well, I'm not really thinking. I want to knock that down because I'm in an okay second place. Yeah. There, sort of. There, I don't also want to, and that will put me in a pretty. Tidy majority there. Yeah, I mean that's that's already so, worth sixteen points. So. so yeah, I think I'll just do that. Thank you. Uh, and then I get to place these two. So I need to get ahead of black in order to try and get second place there. Okay. Ulrich said it is very important to build some skyscrapers in the Bronx because it's it's many many points. Yes, it is. But I don't think control of that area is going <coughs> to change. 
unless Gemma places that token there and places one and then gets ahead of me on the press track. That's the only change to the points I think that can happen. Right, sunset characters. Anybody got any? No. Right, round three. So we remove all money from characters. Uh, we move the mayor. So the mayor goes to Brooklyn. We reveal two new tokens. It's a blue two and an orange two. And we get some cards. Okay, so three cards each and then seven piles of, uh, of two. Thank you very much. So for those people watching live, or even if you're not watching live, if you're watching this back afterwards and you have played Rialto, which this is a re-implementation of, let us know what your initial thoughts are on it. Uh, for, for me, I really liked Rialto as a game, but I did feel, uh, I never felt like I was in full control of the cards. In Rialto, instead of having pairs of cards, you had one big line mm. and you took the whole line. Okay. So with this, I like, I like the drafting of the, of the cards. Mm. Uh, there's there's other tweaks as well, but yeah, on the whole, I think this is an improvement on Rialto. Right then, so phase one, I'm going to use my character. Could I have two new cards, please? Okay. I'm going to use my character so I get um, a money. You get a money and one card. And one card. And now we're going to start taking cards from there. Right. What do I want? Well, I have no skyscrapers on here, so I probably need. Blue cards. Where are we? We're in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. And remember, there is a bonus. Did I mention the bonus? I don't think I did mention the bonus. Yeah. Right, so the first player... Uh, well, first of all, at the end of the game, if you've managed to get at least one skyscraper in each district, you're going to score three points. However, the first player to do it scores a bonus four points. And that's what this Statue of Liberty token is here. So the first player to do it gets the four points, flips it over... And then there's the end game scoring there for everybody. So if you do, if you're the first to do it, you're effectively getting seven points. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you're tr one of the things you're trying to do is to get one skyscraper in each district. And currently, none of us have any skyscrapers in Brooklyn. But there are options to get them by the tokens. What are we on blue and okay. So I think. Oh gosh. Um can I take the blue and the wild card please? Go. Is it me next or Gemma? Uh it's you next. Yeah. Hang on, hang on. I think this is done in reverse player order, isn't it? Let me just let me just double check. I've funny feeling. I think it is, yeah. And ha check. have we done it right before? <laughs> well, we definitely did the first round. Yeah, I think we did the first yeah. round. Yeah, this is in reverse player order. Okay. Yeah. So, so, we almost made a mistake there, but we caught ourselves. So, phase one is done in reverse player order. Okay. Um, I don't want these cards to There oh, we no. go. I did a bit bad. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. <laughs> uh... Yeah, choosing a pair of cards is from last to first on the press track. Okay, I'm glad we caught that. Apologies if we did that wrong last round. I don't know if we did. I'll oh, find out later. I want all the cards. I need them all. All the cards. That's the, the cards. thing about this game, isn't it? You need to do everything, really. Yeah. Rubbish. Can I take the take that one? Okay. Um. Interesting. Which many have I got left? Too many. Got that. Um, hmm. 
Okay, there you are. Done. Right. And could I yep, now you're gonna do, do that. this one? So, so you pay her a dollar, get rid of, get, discard any number of cards from your hand. Um, do I get a point? Oh, you get a point as well. Yeah. Can you get I point? discard two? Um, um, two, and then you just draw replacements. Yeah. Right. Okay. Can I do the same? Is that, is that what you've done? No, we're in phase one at the moment. Oh, sorry. I thought we'd moved on. We're almost moving on. Right. Now we're in phase two. Do you want so, to do it now? Yeah, please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you get a point? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I might have two new cards. Two new cards. I've got that one as well, but I'm going to keep it. For oh, look, almost exactly what I just did. Right, so bidding round one starts with me. And I'm going to bid. Hmm. I'm going to bid one. So get rid of a black one. Swap a black one for own. one of your own. It's not bad, is it? Yeah. Sorry. It's all right. I'm going to swap these two. These two. Okay, yep. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, I'm bidding four. Bidding four. I don't know whether it's a good idea. Strong bid. Not. Yeah. Wow. I'm just going to go one. Okay, so remember, this is the bidding round which is resolved in press track order. Mm -hmm. So I go one. Nick goes one. Joey goes five. Boom. Right, okay. Joey, you start bidding round two. Um, I'm going to bid one. Please. Money. Any money and skyscrapers you have left at the end of the game is worth a few points. Not many. It's like half a point for each. One. Three. So that three becomes four because it's the highest bid. Okay, and then I start the bidding on characters. So, cards in hand, you've got three cards in hand. Nick? I've got five in my hand. Hmm. Yeah. So I think that one's any any on the board. Yeah. That that can change things quite a bit. Um But also I'm having a look at those level five characters as well. Okay, let's... Where are we? We're in Brooklyn this turn. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I just realised. Oh no, we're okay. It's all good. Two. Emma. Um, no. No? No. Um, I'm going to go three. Okay. Oh, you're going to take that card, aren't you? Which one do you think I'm going to take? Well, I think this is going to be that one, don't I? No, you see, actually, no, because I've not really got any skyscrapers, so it's not really what's good to me. I've got two in my mind, so I'm either going to go this one or, or this one. Extra two cards, yeah. Now, my thinking is that... And it seems to be a thing among the Stefan Fell games, is that if you've got loads of actions mm -hmm. to choose from, so you've got all these ones here, but say I can... and I can't remember, Is it Hamburg? I can't remember. Anyway, if you get something that'll do one of those for you, like that one will just basically just say, it, I don't you necessarily don't need to, need to those cards. Yeah. then I can then devote those cards to something else. If you've got the money to keep paying for it, yeah. Mm. yeah. Especially with you being at the back. It's... Yeah. Or do I take the extra two? Should have thought so about <coughs> that's at the that's beginning of the game. I'm too far back on the press track. You're going to say that one. that one? Yeah. It's nice that we've got a sunset character now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was your four. That was my four. I've got two. 
I know which um, one I'd go for as well. Which one? I won't tell you. No, <laughs> I'll go for this one here. That's the one I'm potentially thinking about. But again, like me, you don't have any skyscrapers at the moment. I don't know what your last couple of cards are. Yeah. So this one, this one's interesting. Okay. Uh, this is character 18. Take one dollar from the supply, mm. and this character changes the bidding order for the current bidding round, making you the last player. Right. So you play it at the start of the bidding round, and you say, look, I I'm bidding last mm. this round. So you can see what everybody else has done. Um, I mean, I could take one of these, but... They're not that great, are they? I'm going to take this one. And take my own sunset character. Right, so replace the characters. Uh, bidding round number four starts with you, Nick. What's this one here then? Put one down, then take a skyscraper it's, and put another one down. It's whenever you put one down, mm. you can pay that guy to basically take one from the supply and put that down as well. Goodness. Yeah. Me to start. There is a solo mode for this. Yes. There's a solo mode with all of the games in the Stefan Feld City Collection. Mm -hmm. um, you're playing against um, Tom, who is an automa. So yeah, there's a there's a solo mode in all of the games. I've not tried any of them yet, um, but Ulrich can tell us who uh, who developed it. Was it was it Stefan himself or was it somebody else? We have a bit of one, eh? Not very exciting, is it? I'm going to. So this card here, just to clarify, I've just read it. It is move one or two spaces back on the press track and treat that as if I'd played that number of wild cards, mm. not cards of mm. that colour. Therefore, I can't use it if I don't have any cards of that colour. Well, Sorry, well, it, it should it, play wild cards, isn't it? Yeah, but you can't play wild cards... On their own? You can play two of them to be something oh, else. Oh, I see, okay. Yeah, I was hoping I could play it as if it was two oranges, but yeah. it's not. It's two wild cards. Mm. So, where are we? We're in the blue bit, yeah. and you've played one. I've played one. I'm ahead of you on the track. Mm -hmm. Gemma's got three cards in hand. She's got two wild cards in the reserve. <laughs> oh, it's... Wild card, baby. No. <laughs> it, it, it's painful only because... Okay, no. Ooh, decisions now, you see. The cogs are turning, Gemma. <laughs> How many cards have you got in your hand? Just the one. One. Just After the you've one. done this, you've got one. Just the one. Right. I'm going to play two. <gasps> one with a wild card. Gemma. Um, no, I'm not right. getting this. Time. So I get three. Can I add one for Gemma? Yep. You. Okay, so those cards get discarded. Right, next. That card's discarded. Bidding round five. I'm going to swap this card for this one. Okay. Now. You've got three cards in hand, you've got one. I think we're in your head a little bit here, Paul, aren't we? Well, I know exactly what I need to do, and I'm trying to make sure I can do it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this one, but I'm going to pay Columbo. I am going to move... You've got three cards. Oh, I don't know what you're going to do. I can't risk it. I go two back. And that puts you on top yep, here? Yeah, because I've moved on to a space containing somebody else. Okay. So I've got two wild cards with this one. Mm -hmm. So I've bid three. Agonising. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon. Can I guess? Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Well, you've done it, I, I did that because I knew that Gemma could play three, max. But Gemma's three would beat my three. So don't worry, I've done it now. You can take it back if you like. No, no, no. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I did that to make sure I was going to win. 
I don't think Jeremy's going to play any. I, do, I don't do know. Do we think Nick's going to play? Because I've got, you know, well, I've Nick's got, got one, one card. One. So he, he could play one. Yeah, and he's only got one. I think he's going to. He's got, he's got no shenanigans. And I think he's going to try and either increase this one. Yeah. Or he's going to try and come in and join. Yeah. Me here. But if you played one, your one would be would Nick's be one him. because of this. Yeah. Oh, goodness me. I don't know what to do. What if I can't even remember what card kind of <laughs> okay, I'm gonna play one. Okay, okay, one. Right. Yeah. Nick. I like I say, I think I really got to both of you. And I'm not <laughs> I'm not gonna play a card. Oh. You're not gonna play. Right, okay. So I win the bid with three. Yeah. Which means I get three points. One, two, three. And I'm gonna choose this one. Yeah. And I'm gonna put it there. Because that gets me the skyscraper in Brooklyn. Such a gamble doing it that way around. <sighs> It cost me a lot. Gemma, you get one, one point, point. And you may place this on the board yes, if you want to. Yes, may I um, place it here? Oh. Oh, right. oh, right. There. Okay, yeah. Going. Wow. Because I really messed up last round when I... Yeah. I, so yeah, you're currently so now second in that area. For now. Yes. For, for now. now. Yeah, it could change if it, the it, track changes. Well, no. Yeah, well, you're yeah. second because Nick's got four yeah. skyscrapers, but you've I mean, got two. If you get ahead of me, then you. Then I, I would get. Yeah. Oh. No cards. I got, I got no cards. Gemma. Um, two cards. See, I didn't actually see you putting any down. Right. In that last. So, Gemma, you, you get, you get, I get three, three in Brooklyn. In there, don't I? And Nick, you get one. Oh, I got one. Yeah. No, sorry. There we go. Right, done. Okay, excellent. So, any cards in hand are discarded. No, nobody's got any. We move to round three. Mm -hmm. So, all money on characters is removed. Not quite. Sunset abilities. Oh, sunset oh, yeah. abilities. Yeah, sorry. Uh, well, I've, I've got one. So, I'll, I'll use it to score a point and Take a have a skyscraper. And are you using yours? I absolutely will. I'm going to do that. So, you move three. Three spaces. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to go one, two, two on three. top. Right. Except now. Okay. So now next round, remove the money from the characters. Uh, we move Mayor Feld from Brooklyn to Staten Island. And we flip over the next two. Sorry, this is round four. Did I say round three? It's round four. We got an orange four and a blue four. Cards. We might need to reshuffle discard piles. Yeah, we will need Sometime to. Sometime soon. Um, we will we'll need to for doing the. Oh. Nick's got his own private discard pile. Yeah. Can we have a discard pile? Oh, sorry. Because you're you need to give them a hell of a shuffle. Do you um, want to do the? Could somebody pile? else shuffle? Because um, I'm mm -hmm. brilliant at shuffling. Shall I do the? Shall I do it in piles to make? Because otherwise, yeah, that's clumped together, won't they? Um. And I'm going to have two cards from the top of the deck. I'm glad that? that it's only five rounds because I'm feeling really stressed. Or right, it is, okay. <laughs> it is a really stressful game. For, for a lighter <laughs> game, this is this is much lighter than Hamburg and Amsterdam and definitely lighter than Marrakesh. Mm. It's got so much tension in, in such a simple yeah. bidding system for the cards. And it is agonising because you need to do all mm. six of these and you're like, well, you can't do all six of these. I so. don't feel like I have enough cards either. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Get so. buy, buying this level four yeah. character early, that's really helped me. So we've all got our three cards. Yeah. yeah. So we just need the piles. Of we need the piles two. and then I need I two extra cards. That's fine, Unless you desperately want to. Go on, then. you don't. I know that's you enjoy doing it. I know I'll take that away from you. <laughs> okay, I see what we've got. Are you warm, Paul? I am. It's hot in here. <clears throat> yeah, it's the fact that I've got 10 studio lights, a uh, computer, four cameras <laughs> in a small room. Right, could I have two cards from the top of the deck, please? Or my character that I gave some money to. Right. Um, I'm going to do mine as well. So, so you I get can. a dollar and you get a card. And it's in reverse player order, which is me. 
Now I'm choosing first. That's why I deliberately went last. Where are we now? We're in Staten Island. Right. I know exactly what I need to do this round. Not really. Uh, Nick, you're next. Then we're going last poor Manhattan. Six points. Yeah. And it's funny how this, this game has worked out compared to last night. Last night, Manhattan was worth 10 and, and became worth 20 by the end of the game. Um... I'm going to take... Oh. Hmm. Well, I'm quite behind on the press trap because I've been using Mr. Columbo. Um, so I think we need to sort that out. I definitely want to be ahead of black by the end of the game. But I also want some of those... Juicy points. I see that was a bad idea. But I needed to do that in order to get that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh. I'm going to take this one. Okay. Oh, sorry. Um... Right. Okay, so those two cards are gone, and off we go. So, player order. Yeah, any other phase one abilities, last chance? You happy with your cards? Um, no. <laughs> oh, actually. Throw away any number of cards. Still roll the dice there. I might throw... It is yeah, a little bit. I'm going to do it. You can do so it. I get, you get one a point. point. I'm going to throw away two cards. Two cards. And take... Two replacements. Two and leave, please. <laughs> <laughs> How big is the smile? Yeah. Right. So, bidding round one for the press track. Gemma, you to bid first. Um, no, I'm not going to bid. No bid. I'm not going to either. Okay. Well, I'll bid one and move two spaces. Go. Cool. Done. Bidding round two. Monies. Pull you on. I pass. Who needs money? Well, me, but <laughs> I still pass. Gemma. Um, I'm going to bid two. Oh, Gemma, you've done this to me. Deliberately. She's mean like that. Right, well, I'm going to swap out that one. And I'm going to bid. Do I go three or do I go two? Well, you'll win the tie, though, wouldn't yeah. you? Just. How dare you? You bid three. Yeah. So you win, you get four dollars. Get Gemma two. gets two dollars. Nick to start bidding round three. Characters. Yeah. No. Thanks. Oh, no, actually, sorry. And I am sorry. I'm going to... Put one on here, and I'm gonna. Which gets you a point. Rush them, and I'm gonna hope. I quite like. Do I want two characters? Oh, oh, there's one. Oh, and, oh well, there's sort of another really one. On there. Yeah. I'm trying to look and think which card I want though. Oh, I really want. Ah. Mm, she's been very good. Woman with waistcoat and hands in pockets. But then... Is her official title. <laughs> <laughs> We're in round four, though. It's, Deirdre, I think she's called. It's a, it's late in the game to be doing that, isn't it? It's a lot of cards for two points. For two cards. Mm -hmm. Next round. Unlike you when you did it really early. I'm going to pass. You're passing on the characters. So, yeah. How many cards you got in hand, Gemma? Um, I have six. How many cards are you going to play? <laughs> <laughs> Almost got away with it. Um, so, this is a little bit of a risk, but I'm going to play four, in the hope that you don't play four. Um, I'm not going to play any. Oh, you're not going to play any? Mm -hmm. Right, well I have a bit of four, plus one means 
I can take a level five character. Uh, it says it's five points at the end. Of the so it's five points at the end of the game. Plus, if I manage to achieve the objective, and if I've done my maths correct, the last two tiles in here are both grey. Okay. They must be. Therefore, the chance of me getting a grey one next turn is higher, higher in a three-player game. So I think I'm going to take this uh, female captain. What does it do? Uh, so at the end of the game, let me just show this on my screen. So this character is worth five points at the end of the game because of that. But for each set of these two vehicles that I give in, I get five points. Mm -hmm. I've currently got one of these. So all I need to do is collect that tram car thing. And that, that's an extra five points. That's my thinking. That's going on there. Okay. So how many cards does everybody have left? I have four cards left. Four. And we're going into bidding round four, and it is me. And I'm going to play... Oh, 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 oh. Hang on, hang on. I have three skyscrapers here. I'm going to play one. Okay. I'm going to play one. I'm going to play two. Okay. So two wins. So yeah, three. You wins. get three skyscrapers. Me and Gemma both get one. Three for you. Go. Done. Bidding round five. Nick to start. I will pass. So. I'm probably going to want to win this. Which of those would you take? You'd want to take that one and you'd want to make that more valuable, which would leave that one for me, which means I could put there and make that one more valuable. I think. So I'm going to swap that card for that card, and I'm going to play one. Yeah, this reserve is a very clever system. <laughs> so I'm just trying to work something out. So mm -hmm. if I played one... You'd win. I'd win. Yeah. Which means you get the first... We'd both get one point. Yeah. You'd get first choice of token and I'd get second choice. Um, okay, I'm just going to do... I'm going to pick up that one and put mm -hmm. that one down. And I need to... And of course, every one you play is a point. I only have three... You do? But, every, yeah, every card I play is still a point. Even every card you play in this bidding round is, is a point. And how many cards then does everybody have left? I have two. 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 Okay. I'm going to play three. Okay. So you get three points. One, two, three. And your choice of token. So, uh, I'm just going to talk, talk through what yeah. I'm thinking here. You're currently winning here. I'm currently winning here. If I put the brown one there... It will make it, it, more, will valuable, make it more valuable and you'll get an extra skyscraper for it. And it would mean that Nick couldn't potentially come in and <coughs> join up. Correct. It but, would secure that area with the exception of certain characters yeah. that can knock down the black ones. And But do I want to be actually trying to put one out? In so somewhere. you've got one here, you've got one here, you've got one here, you've got one here. The only places you don't have one is okay. here where we're currently building yep. and here where we're going next round. So potentially if you're going to build a skyscraper this turn, you're going to get one here. And as long as you can build one next turn, you'll get one there yep. and you'll get the bonus points. However, if you were to take this, for example, mm -hmm. and put it here, for example, yep. and put a skyscraper now here, yep. then this round... 
you might be the first yeah. to get in all six. That's what I was thinking. Um, and you'd get the extra four points. So I there's just know Nick is the sort of person that would try and and go there, and put go a skyscraper there. in, and and, and then get ahead of the and track. then get ahead of you in the track. You're really mean. Yeah. <laughs> but then, which one does Paul want? Well, I kind of gave away which one I <laughs> wanted. <laughs> um, so my my end of game scoring card is for having skyscrapers in Staten Island. Yeah. So I'm going to try and build a lot of skyscrapers to Staten Island, and therefore I want to make Staten Island more valuable. That that was kind of my thinking. I'm going to take the brown four, please. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it here. Right, which gets that in there. Yeah, good move. Okay, and we gave you your three points. Yes. I get one point, and I take the four, and I put it. Now, now that you've done that. I know what Paul's going to do. I, I, say? I could do the same. <laughs> yeah. And then we'd both get the four points for this. Yes, you would. So I'm not... I'm not yeah. costing you the four points. It means I'm getting the four points as well. So is it done on round rather than... Yeah. 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 If two players achieve it at the same time. But then your points are on that one for the end of the game, though. Yeah. The question is, am I going to get more in here than anybody else? And I might. Yeah. So that's, that's gone and that's gone. So if that goes in there... Or as soon as this is gone, nobody can add one into here through any other means other than yeah. special characters. And you've got two, you've got two, but you've only got two scrolls. Oh. But it'll make, if you're chucking loads in there, it'll make it more worthwhile on points. It will, but I think, I think I'm going to put it there. Ooh, interesting. I'd have gone the other way. So, because I think that four points, let me just check that in the rules. I'm pretty sure that's correct. Statue of Liberty says... Um... Where is it? No, that's the, that's the solo rules. Statue of Liberty. <clears throat> Skyscrapers. All players who have built a skyscraper in all six boroughs earn three points at the end of the game. The first player to have built skyscrapers in all six boroughs at the end of a bidding round. Okay. So yes, multiple players can achieve uh, the building all six boroughs at the same time, but only in a bidding round. Okay, so that was bidding round five. We got our points. We've placed our skyscrapers. We're all done. So do you not take your four points now? Which four points? No, we haven't. It, we haven't last. got in all six. Oh, well, we're not, oh, we're not here yet. I understand. Okay, but yeah. It's imminent. Um, who bid the most in that round, Gemma? That so you start round. the bidding. Two. You bid two. Two. Hang on. Yeah. So. I could go to three, which would get me four. But I've only got three, so I don't think it's worth it. Because I could use Columbo. But no, I'm not going to. I'm just going to bid two as well. So we all bid two. Gemma, you win the bid. You can, place, anyway. you can place three. You could take one from another district. You can. If you, can. If you, if you, you wanted to. Take, to. Like, that one there, maybe. <laughs> oh, hang on. Hang on a tick, you, you could. Could anyone? Oh, people can get in here with the greys. So, because there's yeah. only two greys coming out next yeah. time. So it all depends if you think you're going to be able to stay ahead on the press track. And how many points is there? Nine, ten, eleven. Currently, Brooklyn is worth eleven points. Uh, I'm going. I'm going to stay. You're going to just keep those two. I'm going to stick. Gonna stick. Not yeah, gonna, not gonna I'm not going to twist this time. <laughs> Nick, you're placing two. Yeah. I'm also placing two. So I'm we we've all two. got. We've all got two skyscrapers in Staten Island. There you go. Mr. Feld is very happy. Uh, right, sunset characters. Yep, yeah, I'm going to pay old guy with hat for one point and I get a skyscraper. And I'm going to pay one and... So you are second. So you move two. Which means you move two spaces. Okay, we're all done. Well done. Oh, and at the end of that bidding round, we mm. both score four points. Really upset with you, too. <laughs> one, two, three, four. One, two, so does three, that mean... Four. What does this mean? So everybody at the end of the game who is in all six boroughs will get three points. Okay. So we're going to get another three another at the end three. of the game. Yeah. Nick might still get an extra three at the end of the game, if he can. Yeah. Right. 
Final okay. round of the game. So, so remove the money. we remove the money from the characters. And you don't get any points for like leftover resources. Yeah, money. so yeah, all good. skyscrapers and money is half. So add, add up how much you've got and, it, and half is how many points you get. Okay. Please. Uh, I will move Mr. Feld on. He's now arrived in Manhattan. The star player is me. We yeah, reveal the Thank final you. two tokens. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to pay a dollar for two more cards. Uh, I'm going to pay one for money dollar and cards. Card. So you get one card, I get two cards. Can I grab a couple of cards, please? Sorry. There you go. Right then. Phase zero done, so we go into phase one of the last round. So Paul chooses first because he's... I choose first because I'm at the back of the press track again. So I'm just going to check where I am in terms of end game scoring. Because I'm at the back of the press track, and I'm, I'm even behind black, I'm like fourth in here, fourth in here, fourth in here, fourth in here, and third in here. That's not good, is it? Not a good day at the office. It is not a good day at the office. So I'm going to need to move up on that old press track as much as I can. So I'm going to take it wasn't my whole plan to take one of these, but actually I don't need to now. Yeah, I don't think I need to now. I've only got two skyscrapers. I've only got one dollar left. Oh, because of that. Yes, that's why we needed that. So in order to do that, I need that, which means I need that. Which means I need that. So I'm going to take that one. Thank you. Red next. Yeah, Ulrich's just told me being fourth in all of the regions is, is not good for enough game scoring. No, it's, it's not good. <laughs> right, me again? Yeah. I'm going to take... Oh. I mean, I am getting a lot of points from characters. So that's going to be worth quite a bit. Probably going to get about 20 points from the characters. In fact, more. I'm going to get 23 points for my characters. Is the plan. Right, Nick, final choice. Mm. Oh, no. Is it a disaster? Well, I sort of not miscounted, but I sort of can't do everything that I want to do. Quite. Um. Okay. okay. Final cards get discarded. We move to phase two. Mm -hmm. Oh, reason? sorry. Um, could I do yeah. my yeah. Um, my one here? Um, We're not quite moving to phase two. We're I can in phase change one. cards. You get one if you want to use it. Yeah. You're going to get one point. So I can change that one for there. And I want to change these two. Yeah. Cards. Throw them away. Draw replacements. You need to put a dollar on her. Oh, yeah. Right, phase two. So, Nick, you are starting the bidding for bidding round one. Yeah, sorry, I've got to count my cards. One, two, three. You have seven? Yeah. Yes, I definitely need to get ahead of the black player. <laughs> Absolutely. There is no way that I can get another one. Of there the is there. no way. No. Well, well, there is. You can take that character. Oh, no, because we don't have another phase one. So, no, at this stage, no. One phase. Um, oh. And you're going to do your sunset character. Maybe. 
at the end. So, oh, this is tricky. I might still end up. I mean, as long as I get ahead of the black, I didn't see what cards Gemma picked up. I'm just going to rewind the video. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I'm... Oh, let's just think. I'm going to do... Okay, well, that's going for that one. Okay. Then... Ah, no, there is a character there that can do some cool stuff. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to bid five. How? Gulp. Okay. Gem it a bit. So I'm going to end up on space 12 if I win this bid. Oh, this could be awful. Because if you if you end up third... I just jump back up. In the sunset, you'll, but you'll go back onto space 12. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I sneak an extra one in, bid six. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I can't. Go on, I'm, I'm going to be at the back now. You're going to be at the back? Yeah. Um. Well, if you are, then it's worth saving your cards for something else. Yeah. There's no one. I'm ahead of the black, though. You're ahead of the black. So I'm yeah. There. Yeah. I'm there. Okay. So Nick, you move one, and then I move six. Five. So you end six. up here. Yep. With your bonus. Yep. Wow. So just okay. quickly, I'm sorry. Yeah. So I will activate this. That's in the sunset phase. In the sunset, but that will put me on top of me. Top of all the yes. tiebreakers. Okay. Unfortunately, so. Okay. Bidding round number two. How many cards have got left? Four. Four cards left. It's still not bad after you just play five. Okay. Yeah. Um, I pass. No Joanne. bid. Joanne. Uh, no bid. No, nobody bids. No. Now this is, hasn't, hasn't happened yet. Yeah. So nobody gets anything. There is no bonus. But whoever started... The previous one starts the next one, mm -hmm. which was me. Cool. So I start bidding round three. I pass. <laughs> I pass. Is it going to happen again? No, it's not. It's a bit of four, which becomes five. And I want that one. This one. So at the end of the game, you pay a cab, a money, and a skyscraper and get six points. And you can do that multiple times if you had... Multiple sets. No. Yep. That's the only one that... What does this mean, Paul? That's for every card in your reserve, which is the same. Oh. I'll take that one, then. Yeah. It's it's better... I uh, mean, Peter had that in the game last night, and he had the card which increases his reserve. Okay. So at the end of the game, he had five cards in his reserve that was all the same, mm. and that was that was ten points. Okay. So I'm going to reveal it, not that it matters. Well, and what does that one do for curiosity? For every that, three, for every, every district which has three, three of your... Things in at no, least three. Boroughs. Boroughs, districts, boroughs, districts, boroughs, whatever. So, how many cards do you have left now? Boroughs. Sorry. How many cards? I have four. Four. Okay. Right. Got loads of cards. So, those cards that get discarded, we go yeah. to bidding round four. Nick, you're first. Um, Would you like any new skyscrapers? I'll take one, please. 
I yeah I I also pick one. I did. <sighs> Hope I can do this. Goodness gracious! Can I do this? One, two for one. So two cards the same. It's not been done yet, but yeah, two cards that are identical count as one card of another color. And that one. So that's three. So that's three. So you win the bid. You get four. four. Me and Nick get one. Thank you. So, right, bidding round five. Who won? Gemma did. did. Gemma did. Yeah. Um, one. Uh, so one, no bid. Oh, right. Um, so, interesting. So I only need to bid one. But I'm going to bid two. So I get two points. And I get my choice of token. And where to put it. Now, the problem is... I need to put it in an area where I'm doing well, and there isn't any areas that I'm doing well. <laughs> so that's the problem, isn't it? I'm just going to make the area more. Vi I mean, I don't have to place it, but I I need to place it because I need I need the vehicle. Um, but at the moment, I'm behind both of you in in these areas. The only area which I could possibly... Yeah, so I'm going to put it in there. And take this. A skyscraper. And I forgot about that. That goes in... Oh, yeah. Hang on a minute. I forgot about that. <laughs> changes. That changes things. So there's no point going in there because I'll be ahead of black. If I go in here, I'll be ahead of black. You'll also be ahead of black. So not in that one, I wouldn't. Oh, not not in, in Queens. One. But because I would in here. Is it right that the second person gets half, half rounded up? Points. So at the moment, this is black. Sorry, this is red, then black. Then it will be yellow, then it will be blue. So Nick would be third, I'd be fourth. If I went in there, in there it would be red, then blue. Mm. Then black, then yellow. So actually... That is potentially the better area. It's currently that that would make it worth fifteen. Possibly more if you then put that on it. But if I put it in here, Manhattan is currently worth fourteen. That would be worth eighteen. I'd get another skyscraper in here, and I'm going to get another one, which would give me three. How many cards you got left, Nick? One. So that's better. Yeah. So it's going there. Um, I will. Take a point. Uh, can I take? Yep. Yeah. Um, Which area do you want to make more valuable? You're winning both of them, so it actually doesn't matter for you. No, it's just the it's points. more the points for the other people. I really didn't want you to go there. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I it uh. Please. Well, Nick's going to jump ahead anyway, so... Yes. I think I'm far from winning this game. Oh. But he's already ahead of Black here. Could I here. put it in this one here? You can. Yes. And, and you get that. Do I put my skyscraper in? You do? Well? Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. So we've done the prestige thing. We now do the final bidding round. I won that one? Yeah. So... I'm not sure whether to pay Columbo to get an extra card. So you've got one card. No, three cards. you've got three cards. Oh, so you're cool. going to be putting those three in there and you're going to be winning that. You've got one. You don't have any shenanigans, so you're going to be putting one there. No, I don't need any more. Well, no. go on. No, I don't. Oh, no, I was just thinking because you could do that. 
Because you're not going to be higher up on that anyway. No, exactly. And so Gemma's not going to move up. So yeah. you sort so of I, I could, got nothing but to lose. There's no need for me to do it. But if there's any way you're a bit knackered in, well, I don't know. Yeah, no, just one. Uh, three. Three. One. Right. So, Gemma, you can put four in. But I you, only have you three. You might as well just put the three. Again, you could demolish one from somewhere else and put it into there if you wanted to. Um, but. No, I don't need to. You don't need to. Because you, you're winning this one anyway. Okay, we're all done. Sunset characters. I'm going to give this guy a dollar to get a point and get a skyscraper. You're going to use your sunset character? Yes. You've got to, haven't you? So you move two spaces ahead on the track. That's Crucially, nice. that was a great time. <laughs> putting you on top of mine. Right, we are all done. So now we go to end of game scoring. Yeah. And the first thing we do is points for characters. So, 5, 10, uh, 12, 13, 17, 18 points for my characters. 34. Gemma? I put 5, 6, 7, 8. 9 points, putting on 23. Nick? 15. 15, putting you on 21. Right, also, end of game scoring characters. So I've got the grey thing, which you have to spend, and a green thing for 5 points. And also, I have two skyscrapers in Staten Island, so I get another seven points. Gemma? Um, I've got two in... Two in the Bronx, so you get two points. Okay. And Nick? Um, I've got one in that one there, so I gain one point for that. And then I will spend a money, a skyscraper, and a okay. taxi for another six. Another six. Right. Now we do the area control bit. So, let's go through the areas... Just a question before you start. Do yep. you see many games where you get points rounded up rather than down? No, but it's important in this game because it goes down five places. Right, okay. So, first of all, Queens. Queens is worth... Eight. Gemma, you have majority, so you get eight points. Second is a tie between yellow and black, but yellow is ahead of black, so yellow gets four. Black gets the two, I get the one. Just going to zoom out a little bit just so we can see the points. There you go. Right, that's that area done. Now, we do Bronx. Bronx is worth how much? I just want to zoom out a little bit more. Um, a little bit more? 10. Oh, yeah, that's just 18. the press track, isn't it? It's worth 18. Yeah. Nick? So, let's move it to 50. All 18 points. You got all 18 points. Right. Nine goes to. People? Me. 51. Then five. Goes to Gemma, and a black player gets three. Okay. Right. Okay. That's that area done. Next, Brooklyn is worth thirteen points. Thirteen points goes to Gemma. Fifty-one. Seven points goes to Black. Four points go to Yellow. Two points go to Blue. Well, it's it's awfully close right now. <laughs> Uh, that's Brooklyn scored. Okay. Next, Staten Island is worth eight. Everybody's got two in here. Okay. So it's eight. yellow gets eight, blue gets four, red gets two, black gets one. Right. Manhattan is worth 18, again. 18 points. Gemma has more skyscrapers in there than anybody else. So 71. 71. Uh, nine goes to blue. Seven goes to sixty-six. Five goes to black. Three goes to yellow. Oh, and it's all changed, right? And then finally, Jersey City is worth thirteen. Which goes to yellow. So ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Second is seven, which is me. Two, six, seven. Third is black, so seven down to four, and then two points for red. Okay? Right. It's awfully close. Um, do we all it's awfully to... close. We all get three points because we've all passed there. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay? Last night's game, there was like a 30-point difference. <laughs> okay, next. Number of skyscrapers and money added together divided by two. So I've got two skyscrapers left, I get one point. I've got two money left. Which is one point. 
None. Mick's got nothing. Right. And we got the three points for that. And finally, who's in all six boroughs? We all are. Are we all? We're all in everything. Wow. Did you say last night nobody was in all six? Nobody was in all six. So one, two, three. One, two, three. So that is the final score. <laughs> now that's a pretty close game. Nick, 84. Me and Gemma, 80. I'm just going to check the tie break rules because I'm sure the game does have tie break rules. It's too stressful. <laughs> Let's have a look. That was very, very close. Um, evaluation of majority has done that, done that. In case of a tie, the player further ahead on the press strike wins the tie. Yeah. But, yeah, wow. I, I had no idea. I mean, I didn't, I knew Gemma was going to do well from end of game scoring, mm. but I also you knew you were going to do well because you had a couple of areas which you had the most in. And then that character that moved you up, I mean, that's a level four character. That was 11 points from that one, from just that from, one from, from No, no this, this one. Oh, sorry, yes. Yeah, yeah, that's the one that won you the game. Because yeah. if, if, if you didn't have that character, mm. you would have been down here and I'd have been up there. Yeah. Because I would have been ahead on the... When I was drive. sat at my desk on Wednesday afternoon procrastinating from work and I was reading the rule book, <laughs> I read it and I thought that press track is going to be the most important thing in this game. And I, I think it's really important. It's a shame you don't... Sort of a shame you don't get points for being further up, but yeah, well, I think that's... you get the points from this. Yeah. yeah. All tie breaks in the game are determined on the press track. Yeah. But the tie breaks in here, because there were so many areas where we had... Well, I mean, look at Staten Island. We all had two skyscrapers in here. So, I mean, no, no, that was only worth eight points. But yeah, that, that was quite big. So, there we go. We're, we're finished. Yeah. We're all done. Let us know what you thought about it. Um, but more importantly, I hope this has helped you either see how the game plays to decide if it's a game that you like, uh, or if you've got the game coming or you're, or you're going to be buying it anyway, this has helped you see how the game plays and, and learn how to play. Um, yeah, thank you very much to you two for joining me. Thank you. thank you to everybody for watching. Thank you again to Queen Games. And also a big thank you again to all of my Patreon supporters. Without you, there wouldn't be a channel. So if you like the content that I create uh, and you want to support me directly, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. Other than that, I will be back at 9.30 a.m. tomorrow morning with an unboxing of Marrakesh. <laughs> Why am I doing an unboxing video at 9.30 tomorrow morning? It's because I've got friends coming around tomorrow and we're going to be playing Marrakesh from 10 o'clock. Um, so I need to do an unboxing video first because it's up there and I haven't actually opened it yet. Um, for Patreon supporters of mine, I will be doing three playthroughs tomorrow. They will be Patreon only because uh, they won't be as polished as these. It's basically me and a few friends. We're getting together and we're going to be learning how to play some games, including Marrakesh. So yeah, if you're a Patreon supporter of mine, you will have access to those videos either tomorrow morning or afterwards. And Marrakesh will be appearing on the channel properly next Friday. So same time, same place next week. We'll be here for a lot longer than this because it's a much longer game, but that's happening next Friday. So yeah, thank you again to you two. Thank you for everybody watching. Take care and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.